Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm Yue, and we're actually at the Hong Kong airport. So we're on our way back to New Jersey from China, and we have a layover in Hong Kong for several hours. We're starving, but luckily there's a pretty vibrant food court here. What I found really interesting about this food court though is not only is there Chinese food, Korean food, Western food like bars, but there's actually a Gordon Ramsay restaurant and it's called Gordon Ramsay Plain Food. Now, at first glance, I thought, okay, this restaurant, I'm sure it's gonna be terrible. It's probably just selling basically prepackaged, microwaved fast food, at best McDonald's quality food, but just with Gordon's name on it. But I don't know, I took a look at the menu and the items actually look kinda okay. They have burgers, they have all day English breakfast, but they also have a short rib burger, which is a burger with some braised short rib on it. They have English fish and chips, risotto, even lobster thermidor. So I figured, I had to try it and this is our food so let's take a look okay so we got two items we got the short rib burger that was pretty well advertised at the restaurant and we also got a mushroom risotto now I'm kind of surprised they had this uh, when I saw the restaurant I thought it was mostly gonna be basically selling fast food but with Gordon Ramsay's name on it but mushroom risotto is kind of a fancier dish and it's something that is mentioned a lot on Hell's Kitchen. People tend to screw it up a lot for some reason. So yeah, interesting to see this. As for the burger and fries, I gotta say that the fries actually don't look bad. There are some nice thick uh, double fried looking chips, more British style looking chips, I think. Although the burger does look a little bit dry. I don't know if it looks okay in the video, but to me it looks a tad dry. Let's hope it tastes better than it looks. It's covered with some braised short ribs, so that should be pretty good. All right, let's try the burger first. Hmm. The burger is, uh, it's not bad, but it's it's not great. It's it's okay. So I gotta say the short rib on top is quite nice. Like the short rib, it really is slow braised. It kind of tastes like a braised, like a beef bar beef bourguignon sort of, like a French beef bourguignon. Ooh, it's it's piping hot. So like it's it's really fresh. It hasn't been sitting out for a while. This stewed beef meat is actually quite nice, and I kind of prefer to eat this on its own. But I do gotta say that the stewed meat is basically the main thing that's saving the burger because the burger itself is rather bland, I gotta say. They don't really ask for your doneness level here. They kind of just do everything either medium well or well done. But yeah, it's um, it's a little bit overcooked for my liking. It's a little bit dry. And um, you know, if Gordon Ramsay were seeing his own restaurant without knowing it was his restaurant, he would call this under seasoned and bland. Like it doesn't really have much seasoning on it. It's kind of hard to show you because it's covered by cheese, but it really doesn't have much seasoning. Uh, it could really use at least more salt and pepper. The bread is actually nice. The short rib is nice. The vegetables are actually pretty fresh, much fresher than I expected for an airport restaurant, but uh, unfortunately the patty itself is rather sad. So, so that was a disappointment, but let's try the fries. Hmm. 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 You know, as I expected, the fries are actually pretty nice. They do taste like they're double fried. They're really crispy. And let me break one in half for you. I like their mealy, potatoey, starchy center. Uh, so it's crunchy on the outside and nice and soft on the inside. Mm. They definitely taste more like British style chips and they're really nice. But lastly, we're here to try the mushroom risotto, a relatively fancy looking dish that I did not expect to find here, even at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. So kind of cool to see this. Let's give it a try. Hmm, hmm. You know, I gotta say, that's not bad. The risotto actually has really good flavor. Now, unfortunately, I do think some of it has gotten rather dry. Like on top, I think some of it is a little bit dry. When I think of risotto, I really want it to be really, really creamy. So I think unfortunately the top layer has kind of congealed and gotten a little bit dry. I don't know if it kind of just sat out for a while while the burger was cooking, but it is a bit dry on the outside, but the flavor is great and the mushroom flavor is great. 
Like the mushrooms that they gave are really fresh. They're not canned at all. They're definitely fresh cut mushrooms and you definitely taste it in the dish. And when you really dig deeper into the dish, like when you dig like past that dried exterior, like even though the texture on the outside was a little bit disappointing, it's actually quite nice in flavor and it's much more creamy on the inside. Hmm. You know, I gotta say, that's actually nice. I was not expecting it to be as good as it is. It's still not great. I think it could stand to be a little bit better seasoned. It could be less dry. It could be more creamy. It is still a little bit too dry for me, but it is perfectly edible and probably one of the better airport foods I've ever had. Hmm. Anyways guys, I saw this Gordon Ramsay plain food restaurant and I knew I had to try it. I had to find out if it actually was solid or if he was just cash grabbing and coasting off his name at the Hong Kong airport. My verdict, I guess I'll say the food was overall solid. I think it was good for airport food. It wasn't great. The quality was better than I was expecting, but then again, it is still the Hong Kong airport, so you can't really expect too much, I guess. I guess it's gonna be hard to maintain quality at an airport food court, especially all the way across the world in Hong Kong. This burger especially was a little bit sad. The fries were good though, and the risotto, while not perfect, actually had pretty good flavor. I don't know if there's more of these Gordon Ramsay plain food restaurants out there at airports, but if you see one, don't be afraid to give it a try. It's actually not too bad. I wouldn't say it's up to normal Gordon Ramsay Ramsey standards, but it's solid, and if you want a quick bite and something solid before your flight, I think it's worth trying. Just level your expectations. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. This is going to be a bit of a shorter one since we're going to get some R&R &R before our flight. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. And if you've eaten at Gordon Ramsay plain food before, let me know in the comments because great minds eat alike. Until next time, I'll see you later.